Hey, gentlemen, this is Vince Miller. Thank you so much for joining me for another devotional. Today, we're going to be in John chapter 11. I'm going to read verses 20 through 27. We're diving deep into the story of Lazarus being raised from the dead now. So Jesus enters Bethany. Here's what happens. So when Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went and met him, but Mary remained seated in the house. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that whatever you ask from God, God will give you. Interesting statement. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. Martha said to him, I know that he will rise in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And everyone who lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Christ, the son of God who is coming into the world. Man, this text hit me hard today, like a brick in the face, literally. And here's why. Martha thinks that she fully believes. She even verbally declares that she believes that whatever Jesus is going to ask God for, God is going to give to him. But if you continue reading the text, you're going to see that she only believes that Jesus has this future resurrection power, not present resurrection power. And there's a difference. And Jesus is even trying to tell her that resurrection power is always available to him. It's not just something reserved for some future date. He has it now. And then I started to think about my belief in Jesus and all those areas of my life where I believe in him and his incredible wonder working power, but I regulate my understanding of his power based on present human limitations. For example, I believe he can heal, but only by the power of present medical advancements. Or I I believe he can find someone a new job, but only through the power of relational networking or maybe proper training and education. Or I believe he can save lost friends or family members, but only by the power of correctly positioned theological apologetics presented at exactly the right time in the right way. But this type of belief is like a governor on our faith and belief in God. I've got news for you, fellas. Jesus can do whatever he wants. (laughs) He can break into time and space. He can control the fundamental elements of this life. He can multiply necessities. He can re-engineer the human body to work perfectly again. And he can bring the dead to life and restore them to perfect function right now, if he wants to. So can I challenge you to do something for me today? I want you to find one place in your mind or your thoughts where you've been governing and therefore limiting your belief in what Jesus can do. And then I just want you to let go. Recklessly believe that Jesus can do far more, far more than you ask or imagine. And take your belief and your faith and your trust to a whole new level in the same way that Martha is about to do. I love you guys. I pray this blesses you today. If it has, share it with someone else. And I'll see you right back here again tomorrow.